Hello, I'm Argamowicz and today I'm going to show you how to make wings. Wings! The first set of wings we're going to make are uh, going to be the easiest. It's going to be like um, demon wings. They're sort of the easiest. So what you're going to want to do is add a freehand group. You're going to make sure that your conformities are down to zero. Make sure your mirror is on. I'm gonna pull this out. Pull this out. That's nice and wide. Wide. Alright, so this is going to require you to do work. It's gonna be a lot like the tails. Alright, and at this point, we're gonna take our brush. We're going to do flat. Do straight. I'm gonna make it. Um. straight. Oh, nice and wide, nice and straight. I actually think this doesn't really fucking matter. This is straight. <clears throat> uh, mirror tool on. And I did a, a little dash. Should be... Actually, it's more than I like to work with, so I'm gonna do a little smaller. Split. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And this is going to be our our wings. Um, so I'm clicking on the freehand group, the whole group. I'm going to whip this up. I'm going to whip it up. Uh, and I might pull this just a little bit, and we're going to pull it down. Uh, it's okay if it clips a little bit. I mean, we're going to fix that later on in Unity. And at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your hair texture and you're going to draw in some wings. Now, um, I already have wings drawn, so I'm going to import those and I will show you what they should look like. We're going to grab our wings and import them in. So, why they look a little funky here is because the width and then we also need to adjust the offset and you can adjust the highlight too which is just going to kind of stretch the center where it's going to be and pull this down um move the highlight down to zero outlines white because we're not going to use an outline on this so these are basically pretty flat but this is how you would do it. Um, and if you want, you can kind of like adjust how the wings are going to look. Yeah, so we're going to make them kind of like that. Let's go take a look at this texture here. So how I have it is mirrored on both sides. And that way, one side and the other side. All right. Remember that this hair strand, if you cut it in half, each half is a top and a bottom of a hair strand. So think of it looking at like this is the top and this is the bottom or something like that. You know, I don't know how what I'm trying to say, but you, you get it, right? Imagine this being folded in half. That's what it is. I'm folding it in half. We started here and we made our stroke out. That's pretty much here. It starts at the top and our stroke comes down. So when you draw it, make sure you draw it, the wing coming down like that. And you can change it and make it look however you want. Yeah, I'm going to kind of like tatter it up a little bit. But just remember that once you move from this side over to here, you're going to get onto the other wing. So it's pretty much like that. Um, it's not, it's not thick. And if you really wanted to, you can add another, uh, hair uh, to follow these curvatures in order to kind of give it some bulk but for the most part this is how I do and then when we want we add a bone by selecting one do create bone I do the fixed point as far over as possible should put it as far over as possible and then we're gonna do the other one fixed point as far over as possible as close to zero if not zero 
and then you're going to want to go to camera and you're going to want to export export materials make sure you unclick this enable hair combination and then export and we're going to do demon wing uh, this be a test and be test Demon wing, and then we're gonna take this over into Unity. I'll show you that. And now, so we're gonna open up Unity, do a new project, 3D. We'll do this wing tests. Great. All right, so we have our Unity open, and I'm using Unity 2019.2.4 uh, F1. Um. And what I'm going to need to do is install Uni VRM. Uh, there are many different versions of it and many different versions of Unity. And the one that I use is um, Uni VRM 0.53. Uh, uh, so I just dragged and dropped that right over here in the assets. And I'm just going to import. Um, Various versions have different errors. I do not know the answers to those errors. I am sorry. You're going to have to ask the person who created the UniVRM. Uh, but yeah, now it's in there. Now uh, we're also going to need uh, the bone weight transfer uh, package, which uh, you can find the links to that down in the description, I guess. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our model. All right, so we have our model here with the demon wings. And I'm gonna do a little adjusting of this. So we're gonna go into the uh, root, the upper chest, the neck, the head. Uh, these two are the wings. Now keep in mind, if you um, if you have hair on this on your head, you're going to have a whole bunch of these. So it's going to take a while for you to go through and find out which one. All right. So this is this way. What I want to do is I'm going to take this rotate tool and I'm going to kind of rotate it. So I want it to pull it out. And if I want, I can take the move tool and kind of push it into the back just a little bit like that. Just like that. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I'm going to rotate it out because I want that curve. Uh, and I'm going to move it into the back. Like so. All right, <clears throat> now we have this, we need to attach it, uh, change where we're going to attach it. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to do uh, open prefab. And then we're going to open up our tool, the bone weight transfer, which is this right here. And now we're going to take these two and we're going to want these in, I'm going to say the upper chest. So we're just going to drag and drop this into the upper chest. Drag and drop this into the upper chest. And over here, we're going to need to transfer weights. And so it was originally attached to the head. So we're going to put this middle one to head. And then we changed it to the upper chest, which is what this bottom one is. It's basically saying uh, it went from here and it's going to here. And what is it? It's going to be... Uh, these right here. So I'm going to take the first one. And I'm going to do this and just move it and take the second one, put it here, just move it. And now you're also going to have to click on the wing itself, which is going to be this hair. And you're going to click here to move it and move it. All right. <clears throat> now we're going to go hit this little arrow over here by the demon wing arrow. Boop. Okay. All right. Play button. We're going to hit the scene and I'm going to grab like these hips and I'm going to rotate and see how this is attached. All right, I'm going to try the head. 
Yeah, this is attached. All right, all right. You know, it's not bad. The upper chest is what's attached to. It's kind of wiggling a bit more than I want. I wonder if having it attached to... No, I don't think having it attached to the chest itself is going to do anything. But maybe I need to stiffen it a little bit. Hit play. I'm going to go to secondary. And so we are looking for these two right here in secondary. Which I can actually... Well, you know. You can rename it, but it's also... It is It is what it is. It's going to be a little, little, little bit of a pain. So if you hit this down button on the root bone, you're going to see these things. And if you have hairs, there's going to be one for each hair. So keep this in mind. So you're going to look at this last one. It's like B170 and B170 is this one right here. So I'm just going to like make it a little stiffer. Like right about there. Oops, I didn't mean to move that. Uh, and this one is the other one. You can see it's like F38D, F38D, um, and you can move it here. And if you want, you can actually rename these Wing 1, rename Wing 2. And then when you come down into the secondary, you can see it's changed to Wing 1 and Wing 2. Um, and then if we go back over here into play scene, you can see like that they're now stiffer. Yeah. And you know, when you're done with that, make sure you select your character over here in the hierarchy. There's been a lot of people who come to me with errors why they can't export. Is so this is the thing? You just select this and you go VRM. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then you go uni VRM point whatever, point whatever. And then you do uh, export humanoid. Your menu pops up. Make sure that all this has information filled in. You can also fill it in over here. And then you just export it. And that's how you do that. And that's how you add uh, the, the, the demon wings onto your model.